Good morning, everybody. Hope in the New Testament continues as we do our word study. We're in Romans chapter 5, and there's actually several uses of the word hope here. So we're going to cover, try and cover all of them because they're all very similar in their usage. Um, but I, I was reminded as I was reading this passage today of the movie Shrek. And I know you're thinking, what on earth does that have to do with anything? Well, there's a line in Shrek where the main character, the ogre Shrek, is trying to explain to Donkey how complex ogres can be. Yeah, I know. The idea of onions having layers, there's more to it than what you just see on the surface. And that's what we're seeing here in this particular passage. There's, there's layers that seem to be uncovered and Paul is just unwrapping for us and it's kind of very cool. Uh, but hope is a key facet to it. Now like last time we talked a little bit about faith and hope being so intertwined and connected. Here we see it again where Paul is just reinforcing that. So here's our passage from Romans chapter 5. We'll be reading the first uh, five verses. It says this, Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him we have obtained access by faith into this grace in which we stand, and we rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Not only that, that but we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. So all these things adding up, faith being the start, start point, faith in God. Because of that faith, we are at peace with God. Imagine that, at peace with God. That's who we are. We then can have hope in a glorious future. That's when we get to go home to God. And we'll be truly at ease. We'll be truly at peace. All of the things from this world will fade away. And we will just know peace and joy and grace and love. And we'll be able to see him. And these things that we endure this world, they produce character which produces hope. Which then reinforces that we get to go home with God. What an amazing thing for hope today. I hope this blesses you and you have an amazing day.